we have better lighting we have better sound and we have mail uh welcome to hatchet gaming everybody and we're gonna be going over some mail we got over the weekend and the swag that we got from ikikon all right oh first one should be my exodia card this said in a previous video i do collect exodia pieces he is definitely one of my favorite out of all the collectibles in Yu-Gi-Oh! A couple of quarter century rares and a couple of secret arts, alternate arts. Yes, two. I have two. Now I need the other leg and the other arm and the other head. And then yeah. I have a couple of sets of Exodia already. Varying limited first edition. Also, and slowly stockpiling special editions. Because I want to have a special edition uh, episode. Uh, these all come with, I think, three booster packs with a couple of variant cards. And uh, each of these sets definitely have some very fun, beautiful collectible cards. Ultimate rares, ghost rares. Uh, not all of them are expensive, but... They are very pretty and shiny. I believe this is special edition number two. Yes. Got a few of these now, all different. See if I can get some multiples so we have better chance to, to pull some of uh, the cards. Now for the Ikikon swag. This is from a good friend of mine and client that I get to do her beautiful hair over at Tabletop Tees. It's a shame that she didn't have any Dark Elf, because I definitely love that. It does a lot of herbal. And otherwise, for all you nerds and D&D fans, check out her shop. She's got a lot of really fun stuff. Very tasty teas, caffeinated, non-caffeinated, all hand mixed by her. From a different vendor, I got a Maze of Memories, a collector set with a few cards that have already been reprinted, but there are definitely some collectors in here that I would love to get my hands on. Love the artwork. Love the artwork on this. And... He gave me a OTS Tournament Pack 20. Let's see if I can pull uh, any Ultimate Rares out of that. Different vendor. I got me a Lord of the Rings Collector Booster Special Edition. While I am not a huge fan of the artwork uh, in this set, uh, they are definitely very, very valuable. Booster cards, serialized cards. I mean, everybody wants the One Ring. Uh, the Nazgul are really pretty. I can't believe it said Nazgul are pretty. And... A Pokemon 151 Scarlet and Violet ETB. This will also be opened on stream at a later date. Oh, I can't wait to get in some more Pokemon 151. As somebody who was around for all of the original 151, this definitely tickles a nostalgia bone. Alright. Gorgeous Pokemon artwork. Got it signed. Uh, Sammy, my partner, she got all of the evolutions, every single one of them. But I got me Gengar and Mewtwo. I love the mech kind of android look. That's really nifty. These will be going up on the wall in the back. 
Last but not least, I don't know if I can be able to put this on camera because it is a huge box that we did buy a mystery box of each. And I got the Ghastly Hunter Gingar. It's all wood burned. Mm -hmm. It said $65 worth of uh, value, uh, possibly up to 125 But I will say, like, it is definitely worth the 65 I am going to open the top here, and then I will also take it off screen and get everything out of it. Or, or maybe this might work. Ah. Oh, yeah. Got a little mouse pad that I will actually start using right now. We got a nice little 3D printed figure. A tumbler. And of course, everything is staying on theme. I will drink a lot of Dr. Pepper out of this. That is my vice. A awesome, beautifully constructed deck box. I love the wood burning art on it. And bam, it actually fits my uh, my Wilds of Eldraine Magic deck. Perfectly. We got some stickers. Another little wood burn keychain. We got a Blaziken EX. I will take it. Fantastic. And a random pack of Pokemon cards. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and just open this up. I have not even taken a peek at this yet. Oh, all right. Well, we got a Gyarados, Norlax, Blastoise, Lapras, good old Pikachu. Looks like these are all Pokemon Go. Oh, never mind. We got a Fusion Strike here, Dragapult, Sylveon, Lapras, Golesopod, Blissey. Metal. Actually, you know, it's cool that they're all like uh, hollows, also. We have a Venusaur, Grim Snarl, another Venusaur, Blastoise, and Mel Metal. Nice. Well, that was cool. And last but not least, another little word, wood burned uh, word piece. Fantastic. Definitely worth the 65 in my opinion. Wheel. It was a really fun con. They were great cosplay. The food was really good. They actually brought sushi out, which was amazing. Uh, they really got smart, finally. Um, yeah, can't wait for Colossal Con in August and any conventions between now and then. Uh, everything that you've seen here today will be opened up in future videos. And I look forward to seeing y'all then. Later.